how to fix Google Search Console structured data issues for unparsable structured data. In this video session, I'm going to briefly share with you tips and insights for fixing unparsable structured data. In Google Search Console, enhancement reports may show different types of structured data your website is using. And it could be missing fields, it could be unparsable structured data. So in this video session, let's go and see what unparsable structured data errors are all about and find solutions for fixing it. What you need to do to fix structured data and parsable errors is you need to have access to the code that is generating the structured data schema markup. You may be using JSON-LD, you may be using microdata, you may have hard-coded it into your theme, you may be using plugins or apps. One way or another, what you need to do is copy the code that is generating the structured data on your website. Then visit Rich Results Tester, press on code and paste, as in paste the code for your schema markup and then conduct a test. Here what will happen is Rich Results Tester will go ahead and analyze the code itself. What else you can do is you can actually grab the URL of the web page that has the structured data and then paste the URL in there and then run the test. But the easiest way is actually identify the code itself because then it's much more simplified and you're focusing on the particular structured data that is having the problem. Okay, so there is different ways to evaluate the structured data. So in my example, what I've done is I've copied the code into the tester. So I'll actually go through it once again. Let's press on code. Let's run the test. I'll close these up so that it's much more simple. In this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a problem. And we'll see what's going on here. Rich Results Tester has identified unparsable structured data. What that means is... Google is having problem evaluating the code. That's what unparsable structured data issues are. What we need to do is identify exactly where the problem is and then make sure we, we, we remedy it. Structured data with syntax errors detected. Here it says details, issues. I can press on parsing error, missing comma or closing bracket in this example. At that moment, that could be confusing for some website owners because it could be opening bracket, it would be closing bracket. All you need to do is identify where the missing code is. On the right hand side, the tested page will show us HTML. And here it's highlighting a line but that's not the problem line because the line above it is missing the comma so here what I can do is identify that particular line is family friendly true and place the missing element and then conduct the test again to see, hmm, was that the line that was having parsing issues? And as we can see, it is. Now, 
to fix structured data errors, what you need to do first is identify the code that is causing the problem. And that could be generated using plugins. Perhaps you have hard coded the code. You may be using WordPress schema markup plugins. You may have a Shopify store. You may be using schema markup apps. If you're using Shopify store and an app to generate schema markup, then you actually cannot fix unparsable structured data errors because only the app developer can edit the code for Shopify stores. But if you do have access to the schema markup code, then you need to identify where your schema markup code is located on your website, conduct a test to find out exactly what is missing, whether it is a comma. I'll actually show you one with the, the bracket missing so that we see. So I just removed an opening bracket because now it's going to have unparsable structured data problem because it cannot understand the code. We can continue and that could be misleading, parsing error, missing comma or closing bracket. And here it's highlighting the, the area that's having the parsing problem. But in my example, in this particular example, it's not the comma or closing bracket, correct? Because we removed the provider. We removed the opening bracket. So now let's run the test because this is just testing. This is not going to do anything on the website. Now. I'll actually copy the code with the rich results tester. You can actually search the code itself. Okay. So you have that option. Press on the magnifying icon or you can copy the code itself. Now in my example, I'm using a WordPress theme and I have coded the schema markup for the code, right? And here I can see, hmm, that's the line. Each line must have a comma. So in this example, let's do something like this so that we see. Okay, so that's a schema markup. It's using JSON-LD format, which is basically a script. Then it starts, this line has to have the comma for Google to parse it. Next line is a type is course has to have a comma. So then you need to go through it line by line to make sure it's not missing the comma in this example. And sometimes your code, I'll zoom in so that you see here, the copyright information has a bracket and curly braces right and there is no comma on this line because when you add the the bracket and use braces then you're opening up a different property here so that's one property and your comma has to come afterwards not like this line here that's one property that's one property here that's a different property because it's using brackets and curly braces. So then I have to close this. Make sense? And the type is using comma, but next line, which is the last line in the bracket, does not have that comma. So these are the, the common scenarios for parsing issues. Same as true with provider. I'm using curly brace open. And then we have a type name and we have same as 
that is using a bracket and that closes the bracket right as we can see and here that's the provider the whole thing I've just highlighted and that's opening curly brace that must be closed as well make sense so you need to identify the code that's generating your schema markup and then identify the parsing problem using rich results tester and then simply edit the code then google search console when it revisits your website the issue will be solved surely you can validate certain fixes if that's important for you but for my example for most websites particularly small business websites you actually do not need to validate it because google will crawl your website if you're publishing content on regular basis but search console does have an option to validate your fix so that is how you fix structured data syntax errors for unparsable issues it could be a colon it could be a comma curly brace opening or closing you need to identify what is missing using the rich results test okay if not simply visit rank your blog and comment on the blog post itself i'll create upcoming videos and show you different methods to fix structured data issues particularly for google search console because they are important if you're using structured data then you should not have errors or else google won't show that if you're not using structured data then 2024 moving forward you should definitely consider using structured data because google supports it and utilizes it to show different rich results in his search results that means you'll get free website traffic by using structured data and i'll talk with you in the next video session